Hey guys, Jeremy here, and I wanted to do this video particularly after seeing Suicide Squad. We've had three films now from the extended DC Universe film. All three have had a less than fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, with each film progressively, almost progressively, getting worse, with Man of Steel getting in reviews, Batman vs Superman getting panned, and then Suicide Squad not receiving a very happy rating. Now I have five things that DC should consider in, with making the next few films, especially with Wonder Woman and Justice League coming out next year. Now these are just my opinions. I could be wrong. Don't crucify me. Don't hate me. I'm just saying that if DC wants to get on the same level as Marvel, and not in terms of how they make their films, but in the same sort of positive outlook, they should consider, at least consider, these five things that I have in mind. Number one, let the directors have their vision. Now admittedly, this kind of happened with the first film being Man of Steel. Did it work entirely? No. Was it still basically what Zack Snyder's vision was? Yes, I actually thought it was a good idea. I think a lot of the choices he made in that film were the right ones. Was the film as fleshed out as it was? No. The main reason why I say this is look what happened with Suicide Squad. Outside interference with producers truly destroyed the original vision that David Ayer had for that film. The directors should have the confidence of the producers to produce a film that will be of good quality. Sure, Batman v Superman didn't turn out as well. There was some producer interference, but there's another reason to that, which is going to come up next. Don't have David S. Goyer write for you anymore. Don't have him be involved in any way with any DC movies anymore. The guy is a hack, a awful writer. Do you notice that he just got to write the story elements for the original Dark Knight trilogy by Christopher Nolan? He didn't actually write the stories. He had a bit of writing in the first film, but then it was just Chris and his brother. You know why? Because he sucks at writing movies. Look at all the movies that he's written before that were all just his. They were awful. So stop putting this hack in charge of your most important films. Why you had him write Batman v Superman is beyond me. He had to have people th rewrite that three times to fix it. If that, it's still not fixed in my opinion. Number three is don't have the trailers comprehend the movie. Now this goes twofold. The first being what Batman v Superman had, which was the entire flippin' movie shown in its entirety in the trailer. The other being the trailer for Suicide Squad. Now we all love that trailer, right? That was a really good trailer. It had a real great atmosphere to it. The problem was it didn't reflect what the film was actually going to be. So that made producers antsy when they saw the final edit and they realized, oh no, this is not like how the trailer was. And they got the trailer people to come in and make them help add additional scenes. You don't have a trailer company go in and add additional scenes. If anything, this has been the year, the last about six months has been the year of bad movie trailers. Batman v Superman, Sabotage in, <laughs> in Star Trek Beyond, and then Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, that trailer, the original first trailer that we saw was fantastic. However, it did not reflect the movie properly. It gave a different tone to what the film was actually gonna be. So it changed people's opinions, it skewed their ideas, and it eventually added a destructive element to the film itself. So don't comprehend the trailer uh, the films with trailers even though you may think that they might be good keep to the original vision and don't show us the whole damn movie the fourth one is don't shove in a bunch of shit and don't just try to appeal the hardcore fans now obviously these are dc films we want to appeal to the dc fans that's something that the marvel films they do appeal to the Marvel fans, but they also have this general aspect to it. I enjoy and respect the fact that DC films have been targeted mainly at DC fans, but don't do it to the point where you keep repeating yourself. It's almost as though that's your backdoor excuse. Oh, we're doing it for the fans, doing it for the fans. Look what happened with Batman v Superman. You made what people thought was what the fans wanted and you went too far. You just went over the top and you ruined it. 
And there are some hardcore DC fans who still love that movie and accept you. This is also for you, hardcore DC fans. You're making the rest of us DC fans look like assholes. You make absolute terrible threats to people who have any sort of criticism of Batman v Superman to the point where you are polarizing people's opinions of it and then you're putting up a petition to take down Rotten Tomatoes just because it gives us a bad rating for Suicide Squad? That's not how Rotten Tomatoes work. You do realize it's a congregation of different people's reviews. You're making us DC fans look like assholes and Marvel fans are just laughing at us. So both for the fans and for the DC Universe filmmakers, don't just try to appease the main fans. You can appease the general public a little bit. Still focus on the fans, but don't go to the point where it's literally only the fans will understand, like that shoehorned in email crap with the Justice League movie. Make it as though people can understand. Some people who don't may not, but they might be interested. That's one thing you want to try and do, is get people interested in it. Not shove so much in their face that they're like, what the hell is going on? And that's what's happened with the other films. We should show, not tell. That always works. And finally, keep doing what they're doing. Oddly enough that I say all these previous things, but really, they actually have something going. It's starting to work. They're doing things that kind of defy dimension. They took a girl, Gail Gata, who a lot of people thought wasn't gonna be good as Wonder Woman, and it worked out. They took Ben Affleck and made him Batman. Everyone was pissed. Everyone thought that wasn't gonna work. Look what happened. Look at the, the casting for Suicide Squad. That worked incredibly well. And look at Wonder Woman. They've got a woman directing it. And they're making a movie about a female superhero. Marvel hasn't even done that crap yet. DC has some great elements in their films. It's just they're trying to pile it on all this other crap. Producers are interfering way too much. They're trying to appeal to the hardcore fans to the point where they're alienating everyone else. They're giving us way too much information. They've got a hack-ass writer writing garbage scripts and they're not letting the directors have their visions. There should be an overall team effort into these movies because how many movies in the last few years have worked out due to producer involvement? This is my thoughts. Take them or leave them. It's just something I wanted to talk about. Honestly, I am so excited for Wonder Woman. That trailer looks great. Patty Jenkins is an incredible director. Gail Gato really surprised me and took the words out of my mouth. Basically, when she appeared as Wonder Woman. Her music is still my favorite from the film soundtrack. So those are just my five things of what I believe DC should keep doing. I think that they have a right idea, but they're just trying to do too many different things and it's overclouding them. And they're constantly fighting with Marvel, which isn't helping their cause either. They're looking like assholes. And DC fans, that's you too. DC hardcore fans, you look like a bunch of dicks. Starting a petition to take down Rotten Tomatoes, you know how much of an asshole you made everyone who's a DC fan look like? I look like an asshole now, even though I think you're a bunch of idiots. Either way, those are my opinions, guys. Whether they're right or wrong is up to you guys. We'll see what happens. So looking forward to, to Wonder Woman. Justice League, but Wonder Woman definitely. Anyways, see you guys later.